Hey yo, what is going on guys? I am back with another episode of a TV movie podcast. And today I have for you Reindeer Games, man. This is the first of its kind. Big Brother has introduced to us a different show. It's not Big Brother. It's Reindeer Games. So I was a little confused about that. But yeah, it's a whole new different show. So there's no, I don't think there's going to be any like like nominations or none of that. You know, putting people on the block. It's a different show. It's like competitions. It's more of like the challenge. You know, when we watch how how this whole season play or this episode played out, it was like the challenge, you know. People competed for their safety. But before we get to that, let's talk about the players. So we got Cody from season 16 and All-Stars. Then Nicole. They have beef. And Cody sees Frankie too. Like, that's his homie. So they want to link up together. But Nicole talks to Brittany. Nicole's telling Brittany, hey, Brittany. I don't vibe with Cody. He he tried to get me out on my all-star season. He's the reason I didn't win all-stars. So Nicole's telling Brittany, yo, Brittany, I don't, I, don't, I don't mess with Cody like that. And meanwhile, Brittany's like, all right, cool, 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 whatever, whatever, right? So there's this competition. In this competition, you get clues. And it, the clues will help you guess this Christmas song. And... I like the way Britney played it, right? Because Britney told Danielle a song that she knew wasn't the right answer. And Danielle went in and said it was Old St. Nick or something like that. But Britney figured out what the what the what the song was. And the song was Um I'm not familiar with my Christmas song, so I had to write it down. It says on the housetop. You know, one thing I noticed about this show. It's Christmas themed, so I'm going to definitely get familiar with the Christmas vibes and the songs, and, and it's going to help me be in that Christmas spirit, because right now, it's not snowing. It, there's not a lot of snow on the ground. Not a lot of people been talking about Christmas, bro. So I'm like, I right, I need to be in the Christmas spirit, and luckily, big CBS provided with reindeer games and it's helping me be in that Christmas spirit. But anyway, Brittany wins the naughty and nice advantage. And here's the kicker. She has to pick somebody to be at a disadvantage on the naughty list. And so now everybody's telling Brittany, hey, hey, do this person, do this person. Taylor, Taylor's one of the first people. She's like, yo, I think it should be Cody. And Brittany's like, uh, after my conversation with Xavier, I think it might be Xavier. He was giving me nothing. And then Taylor's like, Xavier won Big Brother. And I thought it was hilarious when Brittany was so shocked about it because she's like, that dude won Big Brother? No way. He didn't say anything. I thought he was trash at the show. You know, so it's kind of funny. Like, Brittany's one of them players that I, I really, I really like because she's just so herself. She's not fake. She's not with that bullshit. I really appreciate players like that. You know what I'm saying? It'd be cool if they brought back Paul, man. I know Paul don't really vibe with Big Brother, but this is a different show. It's Reindeer Games. Come on, Paul Ibrahimovic, whatever your fucking last name is. Come on. Anyway, so Taylor doesn't want, obviously doesn't want Xavier to be, you know, targeted, right? Because apparently they're like working together. I think there's like this unspoken alliance caught with xavier taylor danielle josh and uh and yeah i think that's it but danielle danielle was like yo i'm not loyal to this alliance like i'm gonna just use this alliance until it serves me no no purpose right same thing with nicole franzel we see in this episode later on this episode you know nicole wanted to target cody but she was approached by Frankie, her her big brother, uh, you know, you know, her first player she worked with on Big Brother, 16, and Cody. They were all on the same season, her and Frankie. So they're in the bathroom talking and and Frankie's like, yo, I'm never going to I'm not going to target you guys because Frankie did end up winning the the safety competition, which I kind of skipped over. But hey, we'll talk about it 
But Frankie won the safety competition. And he's like, yo, I'm not targeting y'all because y'all were on my season, right? And so Nicole's feeling good because she was definitely going to target them. But now she's like, you know what? I'm going to just use this alliance until it serves me no more purpose. You know what I'm saying? And Brittany and Nicole had history before this show because they were going back and forth. Apparently, when Nicole was on Big Brother All-Stars, Brittany was talking mad spicy on Twitter. So, you know, Nicole didn't really appreciate that. So they, they kind of rehashed things, but it looks like they're, they're cool now. You know what I'm saying? So, but yeah, let's talk about the naughty and nice advantage. So the naughty and nice advantage. And Brittany really wanted to pick Xavier because she didn't really, you know, get much out of him. But she ends up picking Cody because numerous of people are like, yo, Cody's a big threat. Nicole was saying it. Taylor was saying it. You know, everybody's scared of the big bad wolf Cody, you know. So, hey, shout out Winter Circle. I watched that podcast. But, yeah, so she ends up, you know, caving in and says Cody's name. And now Cody's at a disadvantage for this up and coming competition, the brawl. And basically the competition is it's a race to the finish line. But you got to make sure you take out all the envelopes you know, and uh, and <laughs> you just got to watch it. I mean, I'm doing a bad job of explaining it, but basically like there's these slots, right? And if your slots full of envelopes, that's not good. You want to get rid of it all. But here's the kicker. The other players get to add envelopes to your slot to make sure you don't finish. See? See what I'm saying? So people that get targeted are like Cameron and Cody because they don't want the big physical threats to win. But while this is all happening, people are focused too focused on Cameron and Cody. Frankie is coming away with the win. I think Taylor was right behind his tail, but Frankie ends up winning the competition. So this is not good for play people that want to get rid of Cody because Frankie's tight with Cody and Cody's not going to be targeted. But they play it up, though. It's not like Frankie and, and Cody are buddy, buddy, arms, arms hooked with each other. Like, hey, we're, we're an alliance. <laughs> no, they're playing it like, yo, you know, we're cool, but people don't need, really need to know that. Right. So Cody's acting like, yo, I'm nervous. It's going to be me, Cameron. Talks to Cameron. He's like, yo, Cameron, I'm nervous. It's going to be me. Cameron's like, Psh, I'm not nervous. It's going to be me. I know it's me because everybody was putting their envelopes on my slot. Right. So, yeah. But speaking of, you know, people announcing they're in alliances, we see Taylor talk to Frankie and Frankie was like, hey, you have nothing to worry about, Taylor. I'm probably going to put Xavier next to Cameron to compete for the showdown because there's a showdown. And whoever loses is vo is not voted out. It's a different show. It's not Big Brother. Leaves the game. They exit Reindeer Games. So she's like, Taylor's like, you said Xavier. I, I don't know about that. Let's do Cody instead because me and Xavier are cool. And Frankie's like, well, she didn't say it like that, but. Frankie notices that, yo, she doesn't want Xavier to be up for the the uh, the showdown. So that means they're working together. So Taylor inadvertently said that she's in an alliance with Xavier. So now Frankie's like, fuck, I have to get rid of Xavier now. And so that's what he does. He puts Xavier next to the buddy Cameron and they go for a showdown. And Cameron's like, yo, Xavier's one of the toughest competitors of Big Brother history. And Cameron is not to be played with it at all either. We saw what he did last season of Big Brother. So it's going to be a, a tough showdown. But it ends up not being that close because Xavier easily wins it. He's able to finish the puzzle. And, yep, that's all she wrote, man. So I, I, I love the season. It's just like the challenge. You know, you got to win your way through, right? You know, so I can't wait for the next episode. It's dropping tonight. And yeah, man. Um, guys, comment down below what y'all what you like about this episode. This has been a TV and movie podcast. Thanks for listening and watching. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bless up and peace.